Hi guys, welcome to part four of the Alt World Builder tutorial. Uh, today, or right now, you're going to go through um, how to put biomes together, how to make that final world. This is the hardest part, in my opinion, because you can play around with all the other stuff, but it's once you get to put your biomes together. Lots of fiddly stuff. Uh, but first, before we go into that, I just wanted to show you uh, that I built another biome. So we've got three biomes uh, just for this test. Uh, in vehicle, I think complete these about seven biomes. So uh, you do want to keep the biomes going, and these ones are very basic. I'll show you this one. This one has just a strata and some um, some like you know lakes and stuff like that. There's no caves, nothing like that. I could add caves if I wanted to. I probably will. Uh, the other thing we could po possibly do is add some like long grass onto the top of this because otherwise it's going to be normal grass and you can add long grass and add some noise to it and all these other stuff uh, but I just wanted to quickly add some trees to this and then we will get on with putting the biome together so I'm going to just have a look at this actually no for trees and any plantations anything like that you do need the final world uh, screen open so I've got some standard plantation here I'm just going to add that link them up and we're going to add some trees to our surface floor. Uh, instance means that you've got to go down here and find basic tree or alpine tree. Uh, you can do any of them, but basic tree means with the basic trees, you don't have to use wood and you don't have to use leaves. Uh, you can uh, make trees out of crystals and anything you want, you know, crystals and maybe some like obsidian or something. That would be awesome. Um, so, but I'm just going to stick with the light wood leaves and the light wood because as you can see in this picture, no wait, where is it, this picture, we've got lots of little uh, pink trees. Now I could do those uh, big drops, that would be pretty easy to actually do in this. Uh, if I go to my height map, where's my height map, here we go, with uh, Gabor, you can make like huge drops by just moving up, I think it's a K. Uh, maybe not. I know it's something. Anyways, it doesn't matter too much at the moment, but yeah, there is a way to make huge drops. And like water, I guess you, I guess once water works properly in water, it could be waterfalls and stuff like that. Uh, that's more like an ocean, isn't it? Unfortunately, you can't undo, so if you do wreck something, you've got to go fix it. So I've got to figure out what I just did. Give me two seconds. I know that I moved K up, and I know that I moved my frequencies along. Let's have a look. It's being a bit slow. Come on. Okay, we need to move our frequencies more. We need to move our F along. No, still not. You're still not playing. Okay. <laughs> We've got our K too high, no, K too low. There we go, that'll do. Ooh. Ooh, that's really cool, actually. <laughs> that's really funky. So now we're going to add some trees to this. So back up to our uh, plantation. We're just going to use the light wood leaves and light wood, which we have set as pink and like a grey brown colour I think um, so then you just add your radius so that's like um, how wide you want them to be so you can choose that you can choose the height of them so we can make them really tall trees uh, we do need to add some noise to them before they'll appear in the world so let's just add some purlin noise so that's the noise, and that's our size noise, so the differentiation between the noises. So you can see them starting to appear now, that's a lot of trees. So I want to make these big, wide trees. So I'm going to do that, I'm going to taper them so uh, they're quite uh, almost flat. There you go. Uh, bias, I think, is just like, you know, how if they'll um, take over other things that are there, so if you've got other trees that um, the one with the highest bias I believe would take over. Uh, let's set our trunk height to high and our height to high and let's 
give them a clearance so they don't they can't be stuck together so they're very separate because as you can see in this they are very separate so I'm not sure if that does it no maybe not okay and you can see here you can constrain them so if you only want your trees to grow on grass you can do that if you only want them to grow on sand you can do also do that uh, let's make our maximum size that let's turn down the frequency let's turn down the threshold and turn down the density let's see how that looks oh we got rid of them all uh, there we go oh that's probably too much, no! too much lots of uh, fine tuning you need to do with this, it's very picky there we go, that's perfect. Awesome. So we've got our uh, other biome now. Now we're going to learn how to combine the biomes. So what we'll do is quickly just sort this out because it's a bit of a mess. So you click on your main box, you got auto layout, and now it's auto. So it's all neat. Uh, now let's, what you need to do is basically set one of these. You can do all four of them if you want, but it can get a little bit complicated. You need to either set altitude, temperature, humidity, or vegetation. For this, I'm going to do vegetation because we don't want our grasslands growing where there's no vegetation because eventually that stuff will be added into the game. And we don't want our icy mountains uh, to be low altitude. So we're going to do altitude and vegetation. So what I will do, you can also do humidity or temperature. They are the other choices. So what I'm going to do is just add some Perlin noise to these. Now, usually you do use a lot more advanced noise. You add noises together and stuff like that. But for this, we will just do altitude and uh, vegetation. So you can see how that looks in your distribution. So that's quite, you know, that's a lot of noise there going on there. So we're going to turn down our frequencies. Where do you go? That's starting to look a little bit better. We're just going to turn down our frequencies a little bit more. There we go. That's looking good. So now what you would do is get rid of that, and you would take a look at the selection and combined height map. So right now it's all rocklands. So to change this, because rocklands would be the most uh, obviously it's got the most power. Change this, you go into each biome. So here's our rocklands up here. We only want our rocklands uh, with you know, not too low, they've got to be kind of high, okay, and we don't want any vegetation in our, in our grasslands, it's sorry, rocklands, okay, and then we would go to, say, our next biome, which is, so just to remind you guys, we're in the biome selection, so this is that button, just there, selection and combined height map, I'm hoping you can see all this, I have no idea. Uh, so let's go down to our icy mountains. Now we are on our icy mountains to be very high altitude. Okay. And no vegetation whatsoever. So max vegetation down. So you can start to see these beautiful hippie colors turning up. I'll show you what they are in a second. Then you would go down to your river plains. Now we want these pretty low, so we'll set our max altitude there. Now it might be too much of them. There we go, that might be alright. And max veg minimum vegetation. I'm just going to turn the weight of this down. So, the, basically, what you've got here, I'll quickly explain, is uh, if I turn them all off, this is where your rocklands would be, this is where your icy plains would be, and this is where your river plains would be. So, you can see how they're all going to look once uh, they're integrated. Now, I had a big problem with this. I couldn't figure out how to do this at first. This was this took me ages. Uh, basically, just keep playing with things until you can see all your biomes there and just keep ticking them off until you, you're happy with where they are. So I'm happy with where they are. But if you wanted to, so for instance, I just clicked off it, didn't I? Let me just click back on it. 
So for instance, if I was to go into my selection height combi combination again, and say, you know what, I think that might be a little bit too much uh, river plans. I'm just going to turn the weight down just a little bit. Okay, now you can see we've only got river planes down there now. That's probably too little. Turn the weight up. That's too much. You just mess with the mate, the weight. Sorry, the mate. <laughs> uh, so I want most of mine to be river planes. So I'm just gonna. That should be okay. 99. There we go. Now exponent, I believe, is how much of your biome carries over onto the next one. So, if you have. No exponent, basically biomes will be very plainly laid out. This is what I think, I'm not totally positive. And if you have the exponent quite high, they'll all kind of blend into each other quite nicely. So I want my river planes to blend in quite nicely with the rest of the stuff. So I would set my exponent to maybe 3.93. Now bias would mean how much of its exponent would appear versus the other biome's exponent, I believe. Again, not sure, but that's what I think. Uh, we want our river biome to be Probably, actually, you know what? Less bias, uh, because in real life that's what would happen. There we go, so we've got everything basically there. Now you can, I'll just show you something else while we're at it. You can uh, change your max uh, gradient without gravel, and your max drop depth in, de sorry, depth in caves and stuff like that, all in here if you ever need to find out that. So now what we'll do is we'll have a look at our final world. We'll go back up to this. We know we're happy with all our biomes. We know where they all are. Now we'll have a look at our final world. Let it build for a second. And we'll see what's going on. And then we can fine tune it if we need to. Uh, and that kind of thing. So right at spawn, zero, zero, we can see that there's a combination of icy mountains and uh, the river plains. Because we've got some trees here and we've also got some icy mountains. Now, that's not ideal. Personally, I would be changing that stuff, but because this is just a quick tutorial, we're not going to change anything too much. Let's have a look at somewhere else. So, by the way, you can change your chunks and uh, where you are up here. And you render thing. So, it looks like icy mountains are kind of taking over. There's quite a lot of them uh, everywhere we look. So, what I will do... Here we go. We can kind of see some more river plains. So, I don't want those icy mountains to be too much. So, I'm going to go to my icy mountains... And I'm going to turn them down. So I will go into weight. And I'm just going to turn them down to maybe... I should be looking at the distortion height map at the moment. But, sorry, the combined uh, height map. But I'm just doing this off guesses at the moment. And I'm going to turn exponent down. And maybe bias up. Now let's see what that looks like. Just let that render. It can take a while if you've got a slow computer, so just keep that in mind. There we go, that's a little bit better. So there's more river plains there. There's still too much ice here, so I would be tempted to kick down those icy mountains even more, maybe uh, set them some even bigger limitations. So I've just moved the altitude up and the vegetation down. And we'll see what happens there. We might lose them all together. See, it's just a game of um, basically fiddling and seeing what's right and wrong. Uh, this can take a while, your whole uh, height map, because it's rendering lots of different things at one point. So apparently that's what it's going to look like. You can see around the edges, we've got the river, sorry, the um, Rocky Mountains strata and stuff's all integrated. Now, I haven't seen any of the Rocky Mountains in this, so I'd be uh, tempted to go and put the weight up. Where are we? Weight. And maybe give them... Actually, that might have been too much. We'll have a look. Yeah, that was too much. So you can see the Rocky Mountains are now taking over. So I'm going to set my weight at maybe 1.15. It's very fiddly to get this right. Okay, we can see in 1.15, that's still too much. Is it? No, no, there we go. We can see a, a bit of the biome there. That's that's all actually pretty good. I'm happy with that. We've got a combination of all three here. We've got the river plains. We've got the uh, rocky mountain. Sorry, the rocky plat. Did I call them the rocky plains? 
must have done. And we've got our ice mountains there. So that will be a world right there. Except that I don't think I'm going to use this one. I'm not too happy with it. I love the look of all this. But this is very similar. These these pictures remind me very much of Vehicle, which I've already done. I'd love to figure out how to do rivers. I'd love to figure out how to do these rocks. Uh, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I'd go about them. Uh, the caves like this, like I explained, you can do the grid kind of stuff, and maybe you could get uh, decoration hanging down to do that. But yes, I would say that there is our uh, tutorial done. I'm hoping that I haven't missed anything. I'm not sure. I know this is the first time I've ever done anything like this, so I do apologize if I did go wrong somewhere or anything like that. Uh, but please, uh, if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. I will be doing a question and answers video in about a month's time to answer any other questions. It might even be less than that. Uh, I will also be now doing a vehicle tour so you can see what's the difference between the vehicle in the world editor and vehicle on Auto Online. I uh, hope you've enjoyed, guys. And hope that all helps a little bit. I'm always happy to help. If you want to message me or uh, get in contact on, on Twitter or anything like that, always happy to. So, yes. See you later, guys. Thanks for watching.